Nakamura liposuction, fat transfer. Who wants to get snatched for the summer? Now's the time. That's right. Summertime's right around the corner. Who's ready for it? I mean, we've been pent up for a couple of years. They uh, took, got rid of the mask mandates in most locations, right? We understand that this is gonna be a virus that's gonna be around with us for a while, so let's just get back to living life. Yeah, let's spend some time at the pool. Let's make some memories this summer. So no more masks are, are needed in Vegas area. So another reason if you guys have masks in your town to get out. <laughs> so uh, no more masks here in Vegas. Uh, so you can go to restaurants, hotels, casinos, any of that stuff. Uh, pretty cool. Hopefully you guys, you're having a fantastic day, ready for the holiday weekend. Uh, if you have any questions about liposuction or fat transfer, you're interested, uh, if you haven't joined our private Facebook group, it's a great place to go check out some of our previous procedures. Many of our patients uh, are following us there and, and sharing their stories. So all the pictures that you're seeing behind us are from that site. So uh, join the private Facebook group. You're just going to go on the Facebook and search uh, My Shape Lipo Support Group and uh, request access. What's up, Morelia? we've been doing some really cool things for people but um, you know one of the things I wanted to talk about I had a couple consultations earlier today uh, individuals that were told somewhere else that when they go to, to uh, plastic surgeons they were told that they had to get a tummy tuck that there was no other option for them and they didn't want a tummy tuck and they didn't want general anesthesia so uh, when they asked for just liposuction they were told that wasn't an option for them because of their size and so as many of you may have seen these pictures behind us, how you can get rid of that belly, that fold, that hanging over belly uh, without, none of this stuff is, is tummy tuck. So the, this is all without tummy tuck, liposuction only. So I'm hoping to be able to save some individuals so you don't have to get a tummy tuck. Uh, because even when they get tummy tucks, they simply don't get the same results. Yeah they're, yeah, they're definitely not as aggressive as we are whenever we get the fat out. Um, you know, we, uh, we do a lot of people that have had tummy tucks and they just say, listen, my expectations were not met. And, you know, I feel, still feel like I look like a rectangle or a square. Mm. And I still feel like there's a lot of fat behind there. And so, yeah, um, you know, I'd like to recommend the lipo first. Let's see where it goes. I guarantee we're going we're gonna to give you something that's going to, uh, that you're gonna really, really like. And then if you're just completely, you know, sold that you wanna get a tummy tuck for whatever reason, I don't know why anybody would want a big old scar there and all that downtime, but um, yeah. So check into what we got going on. Check, uh, join our Facebook group. You know, look at the pictures, look at the befores and afters. I mean, these are, these are, these are clients of ours that did not undergo a tummy tuck. They just went the traditional liposuction and this is a fat transfer to the butt. And you know, so LaShonda asks um, how much, so we have now this quick quote system where you're able to go in there uh, and enter your basic information, your height and your weight. And so we can, we can generate a quote based off of your BMI. So it categorizes individuals. So obviously larger individuals are going to be a bit more expensive than uh, smaller individuals, but you can go check for yourself, see where you fit in. And if you're serious, once you know what the price is and if you're serious and ready to change your life and transform everything, uh, the next step is getting your formal consultation. So go get that quick quote first. You get an idea of the pricing. If you're, if you're interested and you're ready to move forward, the next step is uh, you got to do a formal consultation. I want to speak with all of our employ I'm sorry, employees. employees. So I want to speak with, all of, with all of the patients yeah, yeah. And, so. uh, and you know make sure that we get all their story right and we get a, the right plan. And we make sure that we're on the same page with what your perception of what you want to be is, right? So, I mean... Oftentimes what I hear from a lot of the patients that have gone elsewhere into some of these areas that have these surgical mills, they just basically kind of line them up and they say, this is what you get, right? And this is what you need without having like a, a real intimate conversation with the provider. So that's something that we're offering you. Um, you know, uh, it, it's, it, it, it's pretty, you know, intricate and we want to make sure that we meet your goals. So Sunny D says, that's amazing. I hope that you're referring to this photo or <laughs> maybe it's uh, to Trevor's hair. Uh, either or um come out of july or do you come out of a you, lady come out of a lady okay hmm. all of us have right yeah i have a question <laughs> well, what's your question go ahead throw it on here let's address it uh lashonda says do you have to lose weight first 
So Shonda, you'll see from many of our pictures behind us that we have patients of all sizes. Um, we don't require that you lose weight because we can help you. We suck fat for a living, that's what we do. So you got more fat, we're just gonna take more fat out of you. Um, so the choice is yours. My preference is I don't like it when people lose large amounts of weight. Um, so if you're trying to lose a, like 100 pounds, the, the results after that are less satisfactory in my opinion uh, because when you lose weight, the skin gets really loose and saggy. Uh, and it's different when you do the liposuction. When we take the fat out of the skin, the skin seems to tighten up much better. So you have an opinion on that? Yeah, as long as it's not like a gastric sleeve or some sort of surgical intervention, um, you know, that's when the skin really has a hard time coming back. Um, but yeah, uh, when, you, when you shed a bunch of weight very rapidly, you know, it's harder for that skin to kind of catch up. You know, it needs to, it needs to have that, that chance to kind of come back and you know liposuction what it does is when we remove the fat we put you in a compression garment and you form scar tissue in between the skin layer and the abdominal wall and it helps hold it up so um, it's a lot easier if you just come we do it you use that as kind of like your starting point and uh, from there you go on and you just you know modify your your activities of daily living your lifestyle and then uh, you just continue to, to do some amazing things and let your body transform so this is a pretty amazing photo here as well. I mean, what I like to point out, obviously looks like two different people, but you can see in the upper photo, you can barely see the underwear, right? And I, it, it, it's not the same pair of underwear, same color it looks like, but now in this bottom photo, you can really see that whole area. So that fold was holding, was, was hiding her, her pubic region. And how many of us have problems with that pubic region? with hygiene, with, um, you know, cutting off circulation because maybe our, our underwear come too tight and it creates a, a little bit of a fold there and then that skin gets indurated and maybe uh, causes some abrasion or, you know, some, some irritation there. Hey, do you think it would be easier to have sex with that belly out of the way? Well, I, I'm pretty sure it would. Listen, I know that there's probably some videos or some websites out there that are <laughs> completely dedicated to that. However, um, yeah, I'm sure that she feels a lot sexier in this bottom photo. And I'm sure that she, her intimate relationship with her partner, whoever it is, um, is probably improved because of uh, you know what she's done and, 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 and probably this newfound confidence that she has. So Adelita, Adelita Mejia says, Hola, tienes format de pagos? Oh, bueno, tenemos algunos uh, métodos de cómo se puede pagar. Uh, requis, re, requeremos un depósito para fijar una fecha. Uh, esa fecha puede ser entre bueno, algunos meses o lo que sea. Y también uh, tenemos algunas maneras de financiamiento. Entonces, tiene que hablar con las chicas de la oficina. Ellos le pueden ayudar. So I just said that we do have some options. Um, you know, you can, we just need a deposit to set a date and then um, you can pay it off or you can, uh, we have some financing options. So Adelita says, Muy bueno su trabajo. Muy bueno su trabajo. <laughs> oh, gracias. <clears throat> What's up, Rebecca? All right, Olga says, uh, can a person with sickle cell have this procedure? So sickle cell <laughs> is one of those one of those horrible, horrible disease states, but if you know the origin of it, it's really fascinating how the body developed that particular characteristic. So sickle cell disease is one of those that's, that, that's very rare and it can be caused by a lot of different things, a lot of different body stressors. Um, I'll tell you what, you know, if you get together with your hematologist and we, you know, are able to talk one-on-one -on -one and walk through this and you know all of the risk and we know all of the risk and we make sure that we're very astute with what can happen because, you know, like I said, any reason can put you into a sickle cell crisis and that can be really life-threatening. So um, I will definitely, and Trevor will definitely entertain a conversation with your hematologist, but you know, as a general rule, that's one of those risky disease states. All right, so Tony says, would you agree that darker skin tends to snap back better? Um, I, agree? I, I would agree that each hmm. individual is different um, yeah, and just and it doesn't matter the color um, the color is just pigmentation and I don't think pigmentation makes any difference with the tonality of the skin um, each individual has different genetics that, dude that's a great yeah. word the tonality of the skin I like that yeah, yeah. so the cougar of the skin yeah so every body system is different and 
you know, the, the younger you are, typically the more elasticity you have in the skin, the, the, the ability to, you know, kind of bounce back and get it to, to, to come back to a certain size. Obviously with the increase in age, you have less collagen and a higher propensity to, to stretch out. Um, also, with what's been going on in your life? Do you have, have you had any kids, right? That's a big, that's a big thing. So um, yeah, I don't know if it's so much of a, like a particular demographic other than just, you know, just. I, I don't think that we, there's any way to group all of one group into one, <laughs> into one group. It, it just doesn't make any sense because uh, we're all humans. And you know, if one individual had very loose skin and another person had very tight skin, then that means the whole group is off. And that's the way it works. Everyone's a little bit different. Sure. So Sunny D asks, um, people who are out of state, how do you know if they're a good candidate for lipo? So we do a very, um, a very thorough, you know, evaluation process. We make sure that you answer appropriate question, give us your entire medical history, you submit photos, and then we talk to you on the phone. And then um, we make sure that you are well aware of, of the process. Um, I can send you a couple of links to some websites where you can read all about it. And we make sure that you are indeed a perfect candidate. Now, listen, most people are a good candidate for this. There's a very you know, small amount of people that probably aren't a good candidate for this thing, but it's a very non-invasive procedure. And so most people can undergo it and do very well. So there's a Spanish one here. Can you read that? Me encanto como puedo. Uh, como quedó Tatis, pero veo que nadie habla español y mi inglés no es perfecto. Qué lástima. Bueno, disculpe, María. Si no piensas que habla español, no puedo ayudarte. Bueno, las chicas en nuestra oficina pueden hablar, bueno, tal como yo, pero podemos, podemos andar, podemos comunicarnos. Okay, Mustang Sally, what's up? How are you doing today? Back with some more questions. Uh, what are the medications that we provide after lipo? Do we need to bring meds with us? And how close to the procedure can I take diet pills? So Mustang Sally, first of all, let's start with the end, the diet pills. Uh, those are typically not good for you and I don't recommend them. Uh, and hopefully, you know, we'll get you much better results with the suctioning out of the fat than you will ever be able to achieve with any diet pills. Um, so let's do that. So let's get you healthier. That's the first thing. Uh, then the other thing is what medications do we provide after the, the procedure? We have one, an antibiotic, which would typically be Keflex, uh, unless you have a problem with that. Uh, then we also provide a pain medication, uh, which is Tylenol with codeine. And what else do we have? An antiemetic, an which an is yeah. basically an anti-nausea medication. Yeah, so if you're nauseous. So there's a question that says, uh, uh, is it better to have lipo when you're smaller or heavier? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. When is it better to suck yeah. your fat out? Exactly. If, it, if you don't like it, that's when it's better. When are you ready to change? When are you, when are you ready for some better results? Yeah. Uh, you know, a, a, a better you, a more confident you. I mean, if that was yesterday, then you should have been in yesterday. If it's tomorrow, then you should come in tomorrow. We get some amazing results with small people. We get some amazing results with big people and everything in between. Mm -hmm. So let's see, Olga says, I have 150 pounds and I uh, have anemic. Can I do lipo? Yep, absolutely. It just, you know, sometimes we just have to prepare and it depends on the type of anemia that you have. Um, most people have, you know, a very common anemia and iron deficiency anemia. And, uh, you know, we just have to, we have to, we have to account for that. And we have to keep track of that before we do the procedure. So that does not exclude you. There was a question. It says, uh, you know, how long do you have to stick around in town after you've had liposuction on the chin? You know, you're right. It's less invasive than you know, the abdominal 360 or the front of the abdomen that we do, or even the arms, um, it's a, you, you recuperate very well. So, you know, a day or so after the procedure. Um, we just wanna make sure that, you know, within 24 hours in that particular procedure, that if anything, if you have any problems, we can help take care of you while you're here, okay? So Mary asked, do you guys only do lipo and no mommy makeover? So mommy makeover, just so you're aware, it's just a word. And it only means whatever they say it means. So it could mean tummy tuck. It could mean only liposuction. It could mean arm lift or boob job. It could mean anything that, that goes with that, that individu individual mommy needs. So technically we're doing mommy makeovers every day. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it, it's just a matter of what do you need? What do you want? And, you know, we offer liposuction. That's how we change people. We also do fat transfer. So if you want a little more added volume, it's a more natural response. 
Yeah, we're, we're changing mommy's lives all day, every day. That's what we do. Um, this was, uh, this came across my Instagram feed. Um, there's this plastic surgeon. He says, uh, mommy makeover, breast lift, tummy tuck, and lipo 360. But the caveat is, is you have to have a BMI of 27 or lower. Hmm. I that's, mean, that, that's, none of our patients have that low. <laughs> so, I mean, I... You have to be your ideal weight is basically what they're saying. Yeah, saying, say, yeah, we'll be able to do a mommy makeover on you as long as you fit our criteria and it's not a whole lot of work. Right. So. Angelica says, how many days to recover from Smart Lipo in one area? So, you know, it the recovery process is the same for all the areas. So the, the larger area that we cover, then it's you're going to recover in the same, technically the same time and it goes through the same process, but it could be more challenging because we're covering a larger area. Uh, but people are able to get back fairly quickly. Most of our patients, about 85%, say that they can get back to sedentary type work within about three days. So, uh, Deidre Real Sean says, uh, I've already had the, the sleep. Can I get lipo? Absolutely. Listen, it does not exclude you from getting liposuction. What we want, though, is after you've had the sleep or some sort of intervention, we want your body to kind of like stabilize. And usually that's you know, nine months to a year, because you're gonna, what you're doing is, you're impeding your body's ability to absorb nutrients and break down food. You just, you, you, you can't ingest as much. That, it's, a, it's a physical problem. And by doing so, your body goes through this extreme starvation. So it's gotta learn how to deal with the lack of nutrients that is coming in. And usually, you know, nine months to a year, or, you know, with, with the, the guidance of your bariatrician or your, your gastroenterologist, whatever, you know, maybe we can get it to do a little bit sooner, but that's kind of where your body needs to be uh, as far as timeline goes. Okay, Maria Contreras says, how can I get an appointment? I'm in Arizona. So Maria, we try to make it really easy. About 85% of our patients are flying in from out of state. Uh, first, you wanna start with this quick quote that we have. You can go to our website, myshapelipo.com. You just click on the quick quote, you put in your basic information, height and weight, and we can give you a generic quote uh, for, the, for more common procedures. Uh, and if you like the pricing, you think it's reasonable, uh, the next step is our formal consultation, which you're gonna speak, speak with myself or Kale directly, and we'll develop a specific plan for you and get everything ironed out and get you started. Yeah, so just to reiterate, um, you know, this, this system is supposed to be very seamless and it's gonna give you a really good idea of what, you know, it should be, what the cost should be, okay? We still, like, when you're ready to move forward, we still wanna to talk to you, okay? So you're gonna schedule a, a consultation with us and we're gonna be able to discuss what your goals are and just kind of confirm everything. We're located in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's an easy flight into Vegas or an easy drive if you're living in the surrounding areas. If you do drive, we want you to have somebody with you, okay? Um, to pick you up and take you back to the hotel. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, the, we, we work with a lady that does a recovery home and she kind of has a, like a shuttle service. And so, you know, if you're interested, you know, hook on the website and I think we might have a link or two to it. Um, but yeah, it's very seamless, very easy. So what about diabetes and high blood pressure? Those are two disease states that does not exclude you either. You know, I mean, we want your diabetes to be controlled. Okay. But you know, it does not exclude you from getting the procedure. And in fact, it will help with your diabetic state. Absolutely. So, you know, make sure that you continue to take your medications, right? Follow up with your doctor. But I guarantee after you've done this procedure, especially if you're a bigger patient like this, your diabetic profile will improve. This okay. is no tummy tuck. This is incredible. Are you guys seeing this? This is like unbelievable. Yeah, one of the cool things that the body does, I mean, this is fascinating to me. When your belly gets this big, okay, all of that fat in there, turns into its own organ and it starts releasing hormones and those hormones can regulate can can affect your metabolism and all sorts of stuff so you know if you're ready to get back to a healthier you man you got to start with the things that's causing problems and this organ system right here that's releasing the 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 the, the hormones you need to get you need to treat it and it will definitely help again with your diabetic profile and it'll help with your with your with your blood pressure because your body won't need to Work as hard pumping blood to all of these cells in this belly. All right, Morelia says, how much is the deposit? So the deposit is 25% of your procedure cost. And again, to get your procedure cost, you're gonna go do our quick quote system. It's really easy, instant quick quote. Uh, you can find that on our website, myshapelipo.com. Uh, just simply click, enter your information and you get your basic pricing. 
Uh, once you're once you're serious, then you do that formal consultation, and then uh, then it, the next step would be placing your deposits, twenty five percent of the procedure cost. So on YouTube it says, "Hi, this is Raquel. I'm two months post three sixty. What's right? up, Raquel? How's it going?" And she says, uh, "You know, what does she say in capital letters? Life rewind. Thanks, my shape lipo. No regrets. Nice. And she spelled it right. You know, <laughs> she spelled it right. I loved it. So." Uh, <laughs> No A in there. So uh, yeah, Rochelle, listen, go ahead and like throw some photos up here in uh, in the, like the comment section. I don't know if you right. can link photos to it, but you know people can see what you look like. Um, or go to the group. Or go to the group, yeah, and then post them up, and you know make sure that people can you know can substantiate you know your experience and right. make sure that it was a good experience for you. So another cool photo here behind us. This is a also uh, one of our patients that was sharing her story in the. Uh, Facebook group. So if you're not part of that private Facebook group, make sure you uh, head over there and join the Facebook group. You're going to simply search My Shape Life with Support Group. But these are cool uh, journeys that these people share share, and, and they show you that it's not it's 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 not a a straight line to the to the results. Um, and it takes time, and there's a, there's a process. Um, there's ups and downs, but ultimately, when you get there, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, and some of the some of the stories that are like that kind of stick out in my mind that are very intimate and kind of unfiltered. Uh, Naomi mm. had a very heartfelt uh, video that she put on there that talked about her journey. Um, Stacy obviously has always been one of those ones that has been very candid and showing her struggles that she's gone through. Uh, Tricky Mickey is obviously hilarious. She mixes in a lot of comedy with her, uh, you know, her path, her journey. Uh, Rebecca is kind of like one of those that just is always constant and she's loving to help out so she's fun to interact with all of this is an, uh, one of those bonuses that you get by joining into the group so that you can have access to like real patients so Morelia says can uh, someone with a BMI of 50 uh, get this done so absolutely right I mean we do not discriminate we just have to you know so on our quick quote, I think that's the reason why they're asking. On the quick quote, we suggest that you get a formal consultation. So and the reasoning behind that is, is as the BMI increases, now you gotta realize the BMI is essentially a, a measure of volume of the body. So as it increases, the variations in where people carry their fat, it, it gets a lot wider. And so that's why we can't put a, a, a generic type uh, quote up for someone that size. It, it needs a little bit more planning. Uh, a little bit more decision making. So that's why we suggest doing the formal consultation. So we can still help you, just get the formal consultation. We can talk to you and uh, get the plan. Yep, absolutely. So Paula says, hi guys, long time no hear. Uh, question, if your body already has issues uh, with absorption of vitamins, will it be an issue to have the procedure? No, it won't be an issue. Um, it will be, it would be actually a benefit for your body. And I'll tell you why, because your body's metabolic needs at a, when you're when you're that size are at, a, at this level, okay? When you decrease the size of your body and your metabolic needs go down, you'll probably need less of the, the nutrients, right? I mean, if you're if you're 500 pounds, you, you probably are carrying like a diet of 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 calories a day. Um, when you're only 100 pounds, you might only need 1,000 calories, so. So th this is a cool picture here, just kind of showing uh, what I was talking about. As you get to the higher BMIs, like people start, uh, the, the fat gets packed on in just weird places. Uh, so it's it's hard for us to give generic uh, recommendations when when these th type of things happen. So we need to be we need to get a better plan, and that's why we, it's just better to to speak with you. Okay, if I have fibrosis from prior tummy tucks on the abdomen, is this okay for the procedure? So that is interesting. That's what we call a revision. Those are tough cases. Those can be very tough. But again, I've said this before on the other videos. Um, a long time ago, somebody told me, if you want to go to the best boob or breast augmentation guy, you find the guy that fixes everybody else's stuff. And we don't promote this a lot, but we talk about it from time to time. We probably should promote it. We do a lot of revisions. And the reason is, is because we're really good and we're really efficient at it and they turn out well for us. And so the fibrosis and the scarring from a previous uh, intervention, yeah, it can be problematic, but I'm telling you, if mm -hmm. there's a way to get it out, we will get it out, okay? And right on cue, like Granville um, is always, this is a revision. So she had had it done 15 years prior, you know, she was Colombian, so she had it done down in Colombia and she was here now, life happened, put on a little extra weight. You can see where they did less down here on this 
you know, bikini line and right around the belly button. And then she let me go to work and, you know, it worked out great. Um, I had a good time with her and she was very appreciative of the results. So yeah, it's, it's one of those things that can turn out very well. So Kiari Mar, how much for lipo? So it's, you know, it's, we have this quick quote system. It's really easy for you to get your personalized quote. So depending on the size that you are and the type of procedure that you want, you can you know, get that information there. And it's really easy. We've also added a lot of videos. So to answer many of the, the commonly asked questions, and there's also in written form, we have frequently asked questions. So the hope is that you'll be able to go through this quick quote system, get all your questions answered, and then when you're ready and when you be, you know become serious, the next step is getting that formal consultation. We want to speak to all of our patients directly to make sure that we're a good fit. Yeah, and so and 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 along with that, that's why we do these videos. You guys get to see our personalities. You get to interact with us through this medium. I mean, I get it that it's one way, and we're just looking at words, and we can't gauge your personality or anything. But this is a good screening tool for for you guys as patients, potential patients to see how we interact and how we carry ourselves. And if it's something that's gonna fit with, you know, your thought process, your morals, you know, the way that the energy that you have, then yeah. we're gonna be a good fit. The, you know, I, the fun thing about these, doing these videos is, is you'll either connect with us and think like, this guy is pretty cool, or you'll think this guy's a total asshole and you won't be, you won't wanna come. And, and either way, it's a good thing because if you figure that out early, then you don't come to us and we never have any problems. Um, but hopefully we connect and everything works out right. and and our personalities make sense because I know for me personally, there's certain, you know, I'm very straightforward with things and a lot of people, some people like that, some people don't. So, um, you know, certain personalities. Yeah, no, no, he's super polarizing. And I, you know, when I go to work on a lot of our clients, uh, you know, they come in and they're, they're, they're super reserved with me initially and we talk and, you know, it, they had this just, oh my gosh, Trevor is just this amazing person in their mind. And they were so excited to meeting almost like a celebrity status. And so, um, so that's awesome that that connection was already made through this medium. Um, you know, I get we get a lot of people on the on the flip side too that say, "Oh my gosh, uh, we watched the videos and you seem so much more personable." But I mean, we're, listen, it, it, it's a good mix. We get together and we make sure that we do what's right for you and we give you some amazing results. Si se puede hacer, tengo piel So esta pregunta es en español. Si se puede hacer. Uh, liposuction, me imagino es lo que ella quiere decir. Tengo piel, piel flácida del vientre. No sé qué es vientre, pero bueno, no sabemos todos los casos. Tenemos que ver las fotos en cuanto a lo que tienes, pero hemos hecho liposuction con muchas personas. Entonces, si hay una pregunta que nos, bueno, que, que se hace, que se llenen de esa forma, uh, que nos envíe algunas fotos y podemos decirte si eso es bueno para usted o no. I just said, uh, yeah, just send us some information, get your quote, and, you know, send us some pictures and we will come up with a good plan for you. So this cool, cool picture behind us here, um, you know, I was looking, I was like, it almost looks like she had a tummy tuck because a lot of girls will get that, that uh, tattoo down at the bottom to cover up a, tat, uh, a tummy tuck scar, but this is not a tummy tuck. This is actually a C-section. Um, when I when I looked close, it's a little C-section scar there. So she got the tattoo. But the funny thing is, is you see in that top picture, you don't you don't even see the the tattoo. Yeah. And so the the fact that we took out so much fat that the whole fold retracted back, and then that she has this is like unveiled the flower beneath, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then what's really cool about this one is you can see how big this flower looks on this hip mm -hmm. right here on the side and then it's all stretched out yep, whenever you clean up the sides and you just you know you go to work you can get that curve yeah you get that curve that botella de coca-cola in espanol oh, this was nice uh, zara says the people who uh post before and afters are really appreciated i agree um and, and it's, it's really important because you know what i found is there's a lot of other practitioners around the country that they post photoshopped stuff and so it's not really their work it's not real um, so we created the Facebook group so real people could go into this group and share their stuff publicly in a protected environment so since it's a private group we have a little bit more control over it so if you get any haters in there we can get them out as quick as possible uh, but you get to see real real stuff which is, is awesome um, and not only that in our group you get to communicate with these individuals directly and not that we kick the haters out for any other reason that that group is for 
a positive experience, right? So as our as our clients are healing, as our patients are healing, it's a it, it's a good place to go seek out information, you know. And everyone needs to be on the same page. And you know, contention. There's just no there, there's no reason for contention. It's just you know, this is what it is. This is how the process goes. This was worked for her. This is how her results are going. And it's just a cool little like environment where you can interact with all of the previous clients. Okay. ¿Cuánto es el tiempo de recuperación? So how long is the time of recuperation? Right. Bueno, uh, depending de su cuerpo, muchos personas, muchos de nuestros clientes, pacientes, han regresado a trabajo después de algunos días, algún, bueno, dos días, tres días. Promedio, recomendamos que, que cuando vengas acá, queremos que se queden acá por, por lo menos dos días después de su cirugía. Y cuando regresas a casa, me imagino que todo sería bien en cuanto a se puede hacer lo que necesitas. Ok. So, someone said that they're not seeing the quick quote. Um, it's, it's on our website, right on the front page of the website. The first thing you'll see is, is the link for the quick quote. So, myshapelifebo.com. So, this is a, this is a cool photo. A browser. This is a cool photo right here. Um, I've shown this to a couple of people just on my phone and like the, like, I don't know if you guys can really see what's going on here, but this, look at this. I mean, it looks like, it looks like maybe she has a tapeworm. And if you guys ever want to see <laughs> something interesting, you know, when back in the seventies, they had these diet pills and they would put a segment of tapeworm into it and people would lose a significant amount of weight, but that tapeworm would grow inside that belly and it would push that belly out. Okay. And it's really weird how she carries all of her weight right there in the front of that mm -hmm. belly. And so this is this was one of Trevor's patients before I came back. Um, look how he just, that is absolutely just about as straight as it comes, right? And she looks like, you know, a video mo model mm -hmm. or a video vixen, <laughs> right? The, the guy that I showed it to just could not believe it. He's like, oh man, unless there was those tattoos down below, this I would say that that was a different girl. Yep. So pretty profound yeah no this this was someone to me it's like uh the individual had the potential and and she just had more potential than some other people and to, to get these big dramatic changes and the fact that she carried so much weight and many times when i would see pictures like this i would think that they have visceral fat and the visceral fat is that fat that you carry behind the muscle so that, that would be the muscle bulging out but in her case it wasn't visceral fat, it was all on the outside and it was concentrated right on the front of the belly which made her appear to be pregnant and she got questioned all the time which you can imagine would drive you crazy. For sure, for sure. So, I mean, but these results were just, man, it blew me away. But it's, it's just that, you know, I, I think I'm here to show people what is possible. And if we can come up with this, you know, some of these results for some of these people, it's, it's, it gives people hope to realize that if they have something similar, then maybe it's possible that they get something better. Bueno, esa es otra foto que a mí me gusta. Enseña cómo se puede cambiar el cuerpo después de algunos niños. Eso es mi cuñada. Ella ha tenido cuatro embarazamientos y de tres de esos eran 10 libres cada uno, entonces ella se recibió bueno, un, un bien ajustada el piel en el frente y también se engordó un poco a causa de la vida y el estrés de los, de los niños. Y yo pudiera, bueno, yo, yo, yo tenía la capacidad de sacar un montón de grasa y regresar su cuerpo a un tamaño que ella no ha tenido por muchos años, por tal como 20 años o algo así. Cuando ella estaba en colegio, en la de como 16 años uh, ella era, tenía un cuerpo muy atlética y se cambió hasta un mamá y regresamos a un cuerpo atlético de nuevo I heard that, she looks more athletic mm -hmm. <laughs> Rebecca, can lipo be done more than once because of the excess skin so we don't the excess skin does not stop us from getting the fat out so I, our philosophy is to do it right the first time and only treat the, the area once. So you get all the fat out the first time, you should never have to go back to the same area. So that's our philosophy. Now, if say you got liposuction from someone else and they simply didn't get enough fat, fat out, then that's called a revision. 
and revisions uh, that's something that we do and you know we, we help a lot of people who have gone elsewhere and just simply didn't get the results that they're looking for yep. but you should get the fat out the first time you know, that's 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 our goal absolutely yeah it was funny i was having a i was having a lunch yesterday with a colleague that I, I i i met here in vegas and he got into liposuction and you know man so much of liposuction like trevor can attest is all about experience and hands on a cannula actually doing it and so you got to have cases to get really really good at it and he just kind of started out and i said okay well like how's it going for you guys like are you done like how, how are the results coming you know are you having a whole lot of like revisions that you're having to do and to him, like the revision part of it was just like normal. He's like, oh yeah, you know, like, but it's no big deal. Like they come back and um, I look and I'm, and if they're not happy, I just put them on the table real quick and uh, you know, we, we, we make them happy. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, that would never work in our model because most of our clients are from out of town. And once they leave, you know, they don't wanna have to come back for a revision. Right. So we try and get it done right the first time. So he kind of works on just a smaller market just here locally. And he's, you know, he's getting his experience or whatever. But I mean, I just realized that, man, that would be really inconvenient to have to go back and get a revision done yeah. because we didn't get it done right the first time. So I guarantee that's not gonna happen. So you've been here a little over a year with us. How, how many people have you seen us do revisions on? Like actually, only like our patients. Only, uh, only other people's clients, right. not ours. Right. Not ours, none of ours. We've done a lot of revisions from, from other providers that just haven't gotten the results that they were looking for, or like just basically, you know, basically bamboozled into paying a large amount of money for nothing. And, but yeah, none of ours have had revisions. For sure. So Beatrice says, uh, the lady was asking about, um, can we do lipo on the lower abdomen that has a flaccid skin? So you'll see everybody's a little bit different, right? So when you say that, those words don't really mean a whole lot to me. We got to see pictures of this stuff. But um, what I'd suggest for you is go look at a lot of the pictures of these girls. That's why we try and show so many because there's going to be, you're going to find somebody that's that's like you, you know, that has looser skin. But all these girls have loose, flaccid skin that you're talking about. So, you know, but there's variations and degrees of how bad it is or, you know, how, how, how much the issue is. And so your results are going to be, you know, they're similar, but they won't be the same. It'll be similar. Yeah, so listen, we're gonna improve whatever canvas you have hiding underneath those layers of fat. I promise you, we're gonna give you the best version of you, give you the opportunity to be the best ver version of you. Um, when it comes to like uh, Kelly's world, just asked if we had any pictures of the lady that we did the, the full thighs the other day. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the limitations of what we do and how we practice. So we rely heavily on people jumping on the group and, re and, and posting their, their progression pics. And sometimes when they don't post, we just don't have anything to, to show. So we don't have any of Tati. I'm sure she will post them or send us some in a little while, but no, as of right now, we don't. I know she posted a picture of herself um, in just clothes. She looked, she, she looks awesome. So um, yeah, I mean, you can go on her page. I believe it was just today she posted a picture of herself saying she loved her results. So that's awesome. Uh, Misha says, uh, these are the guys she was just talking about yesterday. Well, we were thinking about you too. <laughs> Jackie Rodriguez what's up Jackie's one of our previous patients longtime followers she's a contributor and she's willing to help out sure answer questions so Jessica asked uh, if you get a, if you get 360 lipo do do you do it all at once so the answer to that is it just depends on your body okay there, a lot of times just when Jackie. your body is a certain time or certain size, we can absolutely do an entire abdominal 360, which is just for referencing front of the abdomen, the sides and the lower back. And what it does is it creates a waistline and gives you that, you know, that figure like a, like a Coca-Cola bottle. Okay. We can do that in a lot of canvases In a lot of canvases we can't because the front of the abdomen carries so much fat, so much adipose tissue that if we did that, plus try to go around the sides, it'd just be too much for your body. So our mission is to make sure that you have an amazing experience and that just doesn't stop with the procedure. It means going home and being able to function at home. So if we try and get really, really aggressive, which we do in the areas that we're gonna treat, we do it very calculated. And if we do too much, your body won't, won't, won't tolerate it. So when you say your body won't tolerate it, what does that mean in real terms? Like what are the people, what do you need to be 
concerned or, or thinking about? So when we take out an, a large amount of volume, okay, some of the things that can go wrong is you can have an electrolyte imbalance, okay, which can which electrolytes are a paramount for all functions of your body, for your kidneys to work, for your heart to work. So you can have an electrolyte imbalance. You can also have what they call a surgical shock occur. And surgical shock is when your body recognizes that there's trauma to an area, it sends down all sorts of proteins, complements, red blood cells, white blood cells, whatever, to fix what was done. And you get this big fluid shift so your blood pressure actually drops. Now, the reason that's very important is because when you stand, your blood pressure needs to go up so that you can get oxygen to your brain. If you have that big shift, you can have the, you have this propensity to fall, hit your head, and end up in the emergency department. So you get more symptoms like lightheadedness, dizziness, nausea, vomiting. You feel like crap afterwards. Um, this is what happens when we push the limits too far. Now, with that said, we haven't had any patients die. We haven't had any major complications with this with this type of procedure. Um, however, it's just a matter of, of the recovery can be a little bit more challenging for larger individuals. When we, when we get more aggressive, we take more fat off of you. It's, uh, it, it affects the body and there's consequences to everything. So you just got to realize what's going on. So S Rex 27, she's been following for a while. Um, and now she's committed to saying this is the year that she's going to do something about it. Okay. So listen, that is awesome. And when you get it done and when you heal up, you're going to think to yourself, why didn't I do this? when I first started thinking <laughs> about it. I mean, it's that profound of a change, I promise you. <laughs> Jackie saw her own picture. No, oh, nice. Yeah, she put vomits. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, so anyway, yeah, here's another one of those, uh, you know, larger body habitus as far as carries a lot of weight in the front. There's a lot of fat cells right there. And so if we try to do an abdominal 360 on this particular patient, and that'd be a lot of work, be a lot of trauma to the body, and then she would have, you know, all of those risks of trying to go home and, and, and maybe syncopizing or falling over, hitting her head. So we work just on the front of the abdomen, okay? And then we allow that skin to kind of catch up to what we did and retract, form some scar tissue to the abdominal wall, kind of hold up. And then after that, then she's gonna come back. We're gonna do the love handles, hips and lower back if we haven't done it already. And form that waistline all the way around and give her that 360 appearance. We just do it in two separate, uh, two separate sessions. So Jackie uh, Rodriguez was just stating that she has, uh, she has some medical issues. She has heart failure and hypertension. And she was one of those individuals that we had to go back and forth with her uh, treating physicians to work out the best plan. Um, and it wasn't easy. She, we had to do some stuff to get her cleared um, and, and make it so it was safe for her. But it, it eventually worked out for her, and she got her procedure. And you know, and you when can did we too. do Jackie's? Yeah, she was a while ago. But I, I, was it I, last year? I think so. And I, and I remember so, something happened. Like she came the day of the procedure, and there was something off, and so we had to cancel and reschedule. Uh, so it was it was like it was not easy for her, uh, which to me makes it even sweeter in the end that we were able to accomplish what we did because. You know those challenges when you get over them it's really it's really cool you know this is jackie here wow look at that okay do you do virtual consultations for out-of-state patients yeah in fact all of our consultations are, are virtual uh the the quick quote is, is is quick and easy so you can get your quote and you, you'll have an idea what it is you don't need to send any pictures or get anything it's based off of your bmi and if you like that and you 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 know you want to move forward, then the next step is getting the formal consultation. It's uh, it's cost a hundred dollars, but you get it, you know, a fifteen to thirty minute call with Kayla or, my, or myself to uh, determine the plan, and you, you know, we'll answer all of your questions. So, Jackie, listen, this is your photo up here. Why did you have a vomit emoji <laughs> next to it? I mean, this is amazing. Yeah. I mean, I guarantee if you showed me, introduced me to a hundred people that look like this that carried a belly like this, and I and and then. You show up, walk up, and we and we we show them this in lot in real life. Amazing. They would be like, "Oh my gosh, where do I sign up? Right. How do I get that done?" I mean, this is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. It's a change, you know, and you got to be ready for the change. And I know Jackie, you know, you've got a lot of other issues in your life and and medically, and and this is a, this is part of your process for getting better, and, and you are getting better, and that's awesome. I'm really oh. happy for you. Oh, that's what she's referring to. She's like she's embarrassed about this photo. Yeah, yeah. listen, life happens, right? 
life happens, you know, we're in this state, we're in this matrix, right? And we're convinced that we need to eat all the time. And we, you know, the only time we're going to really enjoy life is if we go out and have that ice cream from Dairy Queen. And oh my gosh, that was such a cheap deal, you know, and we should go eat more. And then, and, and, and it's just, and we shouldn't exercise and we shouldn't take care of our mental health. And we should just, you know, it's a bad system that we've got going on. And at some point, you got to just start taking care of yourself because this is not healthy and this was not sustainable. And I, w I guarantee you, Jackie, if you would have maintained this, you know, you would have been probably having some severe heart attacks soon or flash pulmonary edema or whatever, you know. Um, but now and, you're a success story. And now your body is saying, okay, we can handle this. Let's go on for another 20, 30 years. Yeah. 40 years. And, and I, think it's, I think it's really exciting, Jackie, that you've, the, the changes that you've made are, they position you as an influencer to where other people see your story and it excites them. Uh, and, and if you can do it, then maybe they can do it too. And, and I think that's the whole idea of this paying it forward and helping other people because you've already gone through this process. You've, you put in the, the time, the sweat and, peer, and tears, the money, and, you know, whatever it took to get to where you are now, you're now a success and you can share that story and, show, and shine light on the path that you took, which can help someone else. Absolutely. S Rex 27. Can't wait. Absolutely. Yeah. Get in here. Let's get you changed. Let's make Let's improve your life. Let's start your journey here. Our BBL is done in the same appointment as the lipo. If so, how many areas are the limit? Yeah. Yeah. We have to do them in the same, same setting. We cannot store your fat. Your fat is, is once we remove it, We've got to get a plug back into your body so it can reestablish a blood supply and survive immediately that day. So we can't store your fat. So once we remove it, we, we inject it immediately after the procedure is done. We do the fat transfer and then we get you all wrapped up and sent home to, to recuperate and heal. And I think it's, it's worth saying that, you know, the important areas to do liposuction when you do fat transfers. For example, when we treat the waistline or, the, or we do fat transfer to the butt, like this picture here, it's really important that you take the fat around the waistline. So you see how small the waist got? The only way this, the waist gets smaller is when we remove the fat. So it's better to do liposuction surrounding the waistline so we can shape the butt and then add the additional volume to get the bigger contrast and the bigger butt, smaller waist. Now, in contrast, when you're trying to do fat transfer to the breasts, my recommendations are to treat at minimum the front of the abdomen because when people have that proportion with the bre where, the, where the breast sticks out further than the belly, uh, that's the proportion that needs to be fixed and it'll make your breast look way larger if you make the belly look smaller. So a lot of these are just proportion things that we're trying to do, uh, illusions that we're trying to create these different shapes for you. Body sculpting. That's what it is. That's what that's what we refer to. So another amazing picture, right? Before and after, right? Look at the front of this. Look at the front. Look how look how how far that hangs out past the breasts. I mean, it just it, it looks funny. And we've all seen this this body type at the mall, right? Walking around with the orange Julius, right? With the orange Julius. Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Granville's cracking up because yeah, we've all seen it, right? And you know, and, and it looks like the, the, the curvature on the front is so much more curvy than what is on the back and it looks really unproportional. And then when you treat it, man, look at this. I mean, you can't tell me that her confidence is, just didn't shoot through the roof. <laughs> and that's two months post-op. You, you know, it's funny because in the before picture, you, have, you don't realize how big her boobs actually are. And mm. then afterwards, you can see where it's just the boobs and the belly's gone, then it, it makes you more... Uh, more clear on where where the assets are and this is this works when you're bigger when you're smaller it doesn't matter same thing happens when we take the fat around the butt the butt pops out and it, it's, it, may, it becomes more obvious this is pretty cool jackie says um that her ejection fraction went from 22 percent to 65 percent and, and she says that's barely even recognized as heart failure oh my gosh so just just the the academic medical side of things so most people their ejection fraction or the amount of blood that goes out, pumps into the body system is right around that 70 mark. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, when people develop problems with their heart, it doesn't pump efficiently. You can't get blood to the other parts of the body and that ejection fraction is measured 
And when it starts to creep down, you start to have problems. You start to have bat, uh, blood uh, back up in the lungs. That, by definition, is called CHF, uh, circulation problems, and it can cause heart attacks and you know all sorts of problems. So 22% is very significant. Like you are, you are a full-on person that has CHF, and your morbidity is really, really high. I mean, you're, the chances of you dying soon is really, really high. So by improving your body state and your body habitus, she was able to increase her injection fraction to 65%. That's remarkable. Success story. That's remarkable. Hello. That should probably be, be included in some sort of cardiac journal, yeah. cardiac study. Amazing. Okay, Minx says, uh, can you use my quote from a few months ago? Uh, I'm trying to beat depression, but otherwise I'm ready to go. Um, you, we can absolutely use your quote from a few months ago. However, it'll probably be cheaper if you get a new one. Um, but it's up to you. If you don't want to do the new, the new quotes, that's fine. We can, uh, we can honor your old quote. And listen, Minx, you know, speaking from the experience of a human being, right? We all go through these through these waves through the emotional waves and I I love it I love being a human because I get to experience this the happiness and sadness and it makes me understand what's what's amazing about being a human so if you're in one of those lulls I'm telling you like the best thing that you can do is do something that's drastic just like this okay and then you're gonna change your perception on your body and it's gonna give you added confidence and it's just gonna it's gonna help out with your mental health it's going to be a struggle. Don't get me wrong. It's a, I mean, it's just not that easy, right? But if you if if you use this and you get you know some appropriate help, this will absolutely help you in your depression in your in in the, your depressed state for whatever reason the depression may have come on. But it, it, it's an amazing thing. A lot of people write us years later and say, "Oh my gosh, that was the best decision. It helped with my mental health." So it, it it's one of those things that's really cool. It adds such a dynamic to your mental health. Come into it. So Le Demi, Le Demi, okay, she's, she has a question. She's, uh, she must have gone to a plastic surgeon because she's saying that based on her BMI, no surgeon will, will work on her. Um, however, she goes on to say that she's five feet tall, 165 pounds, and they want her to be her ideal weight, which they tell her is 100 pounds. So we do you're 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 not speaking to plastic surgeons here we clearly do very large individuals significantly larger than you you will be one of our small patients <laughs> that's exactly what i was going to say yeah you'd be one of our smallest patients and and it's still possible all these people only get liposuction and not only can we help you like you would it would be a slam dunk layup super easy because we help we help people with much bigger problems than you so please go get the quick quote. It's, you know, you can get your pricing pretty simply and then uh, schedule your formal consultation. And we'll get you set up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, five feet, 165 is, yeah, like Trevor said. I didn't know this, Jackie. Jackie says that they told her her life expense expectancy as of uh, 8, 16, 19 was uh, six months. Wow. So we saved your life maybe, right? Well, no, you, you saved better. your life. You saved your life because I guarantee after having done this the, this procedure, you probably changed your lifestyle yeah. and changed a lot of your 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 habits in your life. So good that makes you. me feel good too, Jackie. I'm I'm like excited for you, Jackie. I mean, I hope you're featured on our journeys page. I yeah. mean, that definitely needs to be talked about. I mean, because that's pretty impressive stuff. Okay, Jessica says I've asked different clinics and no one wants to do my lipo and BBL and tummy tuck because I'm 215 pounds. Is that an issue with you? So Jessica, it's you got to send in, you got to do the quick quote, and you can see what we recommend. We it, we give very basic, um, you know, categorized uh, recommendations for people based off of their volume. So we may have different recommendations. Uh, our larger individuals, like this individual here, we had to address the front of the abdomen first. So we focus all of our efforts to get as much fat out of there as possible. And you can see how even on these very very large people, the folds go away. And this is two months out, so it's still quite a bit swollen, and she has a little bit of a remembrance of the uh, a, a fold there, but it's it's going away. Um, so the point is, is that I'm sure that we can help you. Uh, however, we just need to develop a plan that's safe for you. So larger individuals, we you can't necessarily do everything all at once. Yep. See, Jackie says, that's why I can never thank you enough, Trevor, because you help make 
you helped make this possible. Oh, that makes me feel good. Thanks, Jackie. Okay. Minx says, will you please reconsider my quote? We don't have to reconsider, Minx. Just go do the, the quick quote and call our office and we can get it set up for you. Yep, absolutely. You know? But I still would like to speak with you. So if you're ready to move forward, I'd still like to do the formal consultation because I need to look at pictures. We need to discuss and make sure that you're in the right mindset to go forward with this. And um, so it's still, we want to talk to all of our patients before we doing this. So that's why we're, we're requiring the formal consultation. So if you're serious and you're ready to move forward, let's just do the formal consultation. I'll get you that quote right away and it'll be, you know, if you, it, it'll, I'm pretty confident it'll be less than your previous uh, quote. So I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay. All right, any other we questions here? Time. We're dying off. I mean, it is a uh, holiday weekend. Friday. So if you guys, listen, go out there, spend some time with your loved ones, uh, improve your mental health, do something fun, um, get re-energized, you know, observe all of the amazing presidents that we've had throughout this entire like dispensation. Um, it's, you know, fascinating. We, we, we get to enjoy a lot of stuff here in this country. You know, if you want a procedure like this, I mean, it just takes a little bit of effort. You just got to plan for it and there's plenty of ways to make money. That's the opportunity that the forefathers gave us. Um, I'm happy that I get to live in a, in a, in a country like this. So uh, listen, take care of one another and have a good time on your President's Day weekend. Hey, Minx, I think that, you know, she said I thought that this might help with her, and I'm assuming she's talking about her depression. I think that, uh, you know, it's clear that the individual that is has this full belly is going to act and think differently than the person who has not, that belly's not there. And just by perception, you look at a person, they look different. And, and you can see that a person who is thinner, you have the ability to do more with yourself whether that's functionality, whether that's fitting into clothes differently. And you can imagine the confidence that comes with that. When you look th like this different person, you look like this lean person, you'll start, the feelings come along with that. Now, it's not the only thing that fixes you. You still have to focus on your mind because ultimately the mind is what controls everything. So if you can work on the mind as well as working on the body, the combination of the two, uh, it, it should help make a big difference for you. Absolutely. Listen, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you, the, the lay the me. Um, you know, wherever you, you went with the plastic surgeon, cosmetic surgeon, you know, listen, they do their residencies. They, they, they don't do a whole lot as far as like liposuction. I mean, they don't. And I'm telling you, um, we have proven time and time again, you know, that you can do these procedures on larger patients and still have amazing success. So if you don't believe us, please go to the website, please go to the Facebook group, you know, request to be a member. You can get access to all of these photos. You can talk to these people for yourself and validate it. I mean, just because some guy says that you can't doesn't mean that that necessarily is the end all be all. It really isn't. It's just so, an opinion. Yeah, it's just an opinion. And that's how they practice, right? So medicine is a practice of medicine. So some people are really good at certain things yeah. and other people are, are, are not. So. You know, we just happen to come up with, you know, some really good cases that work really well and our, the technique that we do and, and the way we go about it, and it just works out great. I'm super happy you found us. I'm glad, I, like, I feel like every time when people come to us like this, that they, uh, you know, I feel like I saved another person because the fact that you're not going to these plastic surgeons and doing the stupid procedures that they recommend, you don't have to get cut up like they recommend. And so I'm glad that we were able to save you. And my hope is, and this is where this, this whole pay it forward idea, my hope is, is that when we're able to help you and change your life and, and, and give you something that you didn't think was possible, it's your responsibility then to go spread the word and, and let people know that we're just like in the same situation that you were in. It's spread the word and help save them as well because you know it's really bad when I see these people these these young girls are like 150 pounds and they're going to get tummy tucks these huge scars it's yeah. nasty it's totally mm -hmm. unnecessary sure and it's funny too because like um, I've seen it from a lot of my friends too right so mm -hmm. we were at the pool this summer and his wife had gone and gotten a mommy makeover by the the guy to go to in that particular area that they lived in the, in, in, in Arizona and they, you know, I think she paid 35 grand, 40 grand to do all of this work and blah, blah, blah. Well, we're at the pool and Granville, you can pull up my wife's photos right on cue if you want. 
And, you know, we're at the pool and my wife, you know, is looking amazing, looking fantastic. And I kept watching my wife's friend kind of look over and I could tell what she was analyzing. She was looking at the work and she's like, oh my gosh, that was just liposuction? Yeah, that was me doing liposuction on my wife, okay? And it turned out amazing. And she was so jealous because of these results and there was no big scar, right? So oftentimes, you know, it's about, you know, getting exposed to somebody that feels like they can do it, that feels confident, and we feel like we can. And we can give you an amazing result without having to, to do a tummy tuck, despite what all of the other people are saying. So, I mean, listen, you want access to all of this, jump onto the Facebook group and, 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 and connect with these patients and they'll, they'll tell you, they'll let you know. Sari says, how long is the recovery for lipo? Uh, well, everybody's a little bit different. Uh, the larger procedures tend to take a little bit longer. The shorter, you know, the smaller procedures, people bounce back pretty quickly. Our statistics say about 85% of people say that they're able to go back to a sedentary type job within three days after the procedure. Uh, and most people are saying that they can get back to the gym, light exercise within two weeks. So listen, I got to run. I got to go pick up kids from school. Yeah. I'm still a dad. So have a good trip wherever you're going. All right. I'm just going to finish up here with a couple more questions. Jackie says that the... Uh, she agrees it does help with depression. Says you, one, you look better, and two, you feel better and start to be happy again. It's just a process, right? You know, this is just one step in the process, and I think it can help you out. But you know, you have to try things, and maybe maybe this is the thing for you. Maybe it's not, but you got to try things. And if you don't try something, you're never gonna know. So, all right. I appreciate you jump for jumping on today. Thank you for uh, asking questions, keeping me engaged. Uh, if you have more questions, we're going to be back next week. Um, and if you're ready to move forward with your life change, your life transformation, if you're ready to make a difference now, the next step is getting that quick quote. Just get your pricing so you have an idea. And when you're ready, the next step is getting that formal consultation. So thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Tasha, she, did she do it official before or after? No, she just she just had a picture and she said, I'm loving my results or something like that. Mm. I was going to text her and see if we can get some more formal pictures. Right.